Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It is Christian here. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today I am so excited because we are finally starting my holiday videos. Now I know it is barely halfway through September, so kind of starting holiday videos seems like a bit much, but Sephora has already started releasing a bunch of their holiday kits. Brands are starting to drop all of their holiday limited edition products. So I wanted to start getting these videos up for you guys as soon as possible. So that way if you're interested in it, you can see swatches, you can get price comparisons, breakdowns, all that good stuff, and make the decision on whether or not you want to purchase it for yourself. So today we are going to be starting out with the Sephora, a Sephora favorites kit. And as you may or may not know, if you've been around my channel since last year, these are some of my favorite kits that come out during the holidays. They have the absolute best value in my opinion. So basically what I'm going to do, it's going to be a quick, easy, brief video. I'm going to go over all of the different products that come in here, the price breakdown, what's full size, what's not full size, give you swatches. And then I'm also briefly going to compare it to this kit, which is the one from last year. So the one from this year is give me more lips. And the one from last year was give me some lip and lip liners. So that way, because I notice that sometimes when you purchase things, you know, year in and year out, especially holiday sets, a lot of times you'll start seeing repeats of a lot of the different items. And, you know, that kind of changes the value on things or whether or not you actually want to purchase them or not. I thought I would just quickly compare the two so that way you can know if there's going to be any repeats or maybe if you should save your money and things like that. So if you're interested in holiday videos, if you're interested in the Sephora Give Me Some Lip Set and you want to know price breakdowns, colors, and everything that comes in in this little kit, then you are definitely in the right place and you are definitely going to want to go ahead and keep on watching. But before I get into the video, I just want to say that if you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you do not mind, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Subscribing to my channel just ensures that you will not miss any future upcoming videos. I will have a holiday 2017 playlist link down below. There's not really any videos in there yet. But if you're watching this video like down the line and you want to check out some more reviews, then that will be down there before you. Anyways, enough rambling. Let's go ahead and get started talking about the kit. Okay, so the first thing that I do, the first thing I do want to get out of the way, this is the kit from last year. Let me open it up. So if you did purchase it, I do want to say that there are no repeats in this kit versus last year's kit. And I also think that this year's kit is actually a better value. Now last year you got some lip liners, some full size lip liners and one full size lip product. This year, all five products that are full size are gonna be lipstick. So I think overall, this is a better value. Now, the one from this year is a little bit more expensive than last year, but there are absolutely no repeats. So if you love these kits, I would definitely recommend going ahead and picking it up. If you love these kits, I always swear by them. I always say that they're really great. I kind of kept everything in order for you guys so y'all could see what this year's versus last year's. Last year's retail for 60, 60 bucks. This year's retails for 68. But a plus, a plus, not only are they all lipsticks that are going to be full size, but they also added one extra product, which I have already touched on in one of my last videos. There is one extra full size product and the kit last year came with 14 items. The kit this year comes with 15 and five of those are full size. So these values, in my opinion, if you like the colors are always, I haven't even swatched anything yet, but if you like the colors, if you like the formulations that are in here, then these are definitely going to be really good kits. So this does retail for $68 and it says that it is $68 US, $82 Canadian, and it says that it is a $254 value. So really quickly, I'll kind of let you see what the packaging looks like so you can kind of get a quick overview of everything that does come in there. The box does show you what products are full size and we will start with the full size products and then we will kind of tally it up just to kind of see if this is actually going to be worth the value. So again, 254 value with five full size products. It does flip open like this. It does have a very similar layout to last year's box. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the full-size products. So let me pull those out. Okay, so these are the five full-size products that you do get. I'm quickly gonna run down each of them. The first full-size item that you get is Huda Beauty's Bombshell, and this regular price does retail for $20. Now, I actually already own Bombshell. I actually already own Bombshell, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the one that I already own. So maybe I can give that one away. So let's go ahead and swatch out Bombshell. And I really do enjoy the formulations of Huda Beauty's liquid lipsticks. I think they're really nice, really comfortable. They were a long time. They don't give you that nasty butthole lip. They don't crack off on my lips and they don't overly settle into fine lines. So I really do like this formulation. So again, that is $20. The next thing that you do get in the kit is an Anastasia lip gloss and it is in the shade Vintage. This retails for $16. And let's go ahead and give this guy a swatch. 
So this is going to be a little bit more of a pinky nude, whereas the Huda Beauty I feel like is more of like a caramelly peachy undertone nude. So, so far they're sticking with the nude family. Okay, so so far our value is at 36 bucks and the full price of this kit was 68 So let's let's keep going the next thing that comes in the kit is going to be a full-size tart lipstick this is the tart rainforest of the sea quench lip rescue in the shade nude so this is what the packaging looks like and it looks like we are going to be keeping on with the nude theme throughout this particular set okay so this is more of a bomb it doesn't really give a lot of color you can tell that there is a hint a little hint of nude you can kind of see it showing through but this is going to be just more of like a moisturizing balm so something that you could just throw in your purse on the go something super quick so that's nice never tried this particular formulation of a lip product actually the last two full-size products I've never tried so this is also a really fun way to try out new sets and new products and get the best value for your money and that is why I love these because for the most part the values on these are always so top-notch all right, so now we're at 55 bucks. All right, the next full pro the next full size product that we have is from the brand Wander Beauty, and this is the Wander Out Dual Lipstick. It comes in the shade Nikki Beach. This retails for $30, which brings our total up to 85 bucks. And we're not even done with the full size products. We have one more full size product left and a bunch of minis, so we've already met the value. The rest at this point is just gravy, as long as you love the colors that it comes with. So it actually kind of looks like there's two mini lipsticks in this guy. So actually, one says Nikki Beach. And one says BB so let's go ahead and give this a swatch that is more of like a hot pink which would be really pretty for summertime and then of course the other side does come with the nude so actually that would make for really pretty ombre lips so the this actually would look really pretty paired with that Anastasia gloss as well so these I've never tried anything from Wander Beauty nothing they felt really nice they felt really creamy they look opaque Everything on here except for the tart, which is more of like I mentioned, like a moisture kind of situation. Everything is very opaque. Everything is one swipe full opacity. So I'm super into that. Next, we get a full size of Bobbi Brown lipstick. These are the Lux lip color and this is in the shade Brocade. This regular price retails for $37 and I have to say that this, so far out of everything I've picked up and held, this has really nice luxuri luxurious packaging. So that already brings our total to $122 just on the full size products alone. Ooh, and this is going to be more of like a plum berry situation. So let's give it a swatch. Oh, that's really creamy. That's a really pretty perfect color for fall. It's a very pretty great color and it felt very moisturizing as you swatch it. So I think everything so far that's been put in here, you know, sometimes you get duds of products that you're just not going to like, but I think everything in here so far is very wearable. I think that these colors, even if you don't like wearing more bold type colors, I feel like you could definitely get away with this more grapey tone color every day. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of into this kit so far. We're going to go ahead and go over the minis. The kit has already been made. The price is totally already worth it. The colors are already beautiful just on those five, just on those five full size products alone. So like I've been saying, everything else at this point is just gravy. But let's just go ahead and see what else we get anyway. We get this tiny little nugget, which is a Dior Maximizer in the shade 001 Pink. And this is a formulation I have never tried. This just looks like a sheer gloss. Kind of see it. There's not really any color or pigment, but you can, I mean, I guess you can kind of see shift it a little bit, but that's just going to give you like a super glossy, glossy lip. So I've actually heard really great things about those. I've just never tried them. So then we get this little YSL guy. This is the YSL Rouge Pure Couture in the shade, I believe it's Le Rouge. And... This looks like it's going to be a really pretty red. So it looks more of like a blue based red. So that would be really pretty for your holiday photos. I'm not going to lie, these are hard to get out. Next we have the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Driver's Seat. And this is a really good formulation. I don't have this color, I don't think. But I do, I have tried the formulation of these lip gloss, these liquid lips and they're really nice. They're some of my faves. And I love the doe foot applicator on these. It gives you the right amount of product. Okay, this again is another nude. That's it right there. Super pretty color. I could see myself wearing that a ton. Then we get another Smashbox item. This is the Smashbox Velour Lovers Lip Color in the shade Sensual. 
And this is just a, tr a traditional lipstick. Looks like it's going to be a pinky nude. Okay, this is definitely a little bit of a sheer formula. It takes a couple of extra layers to build up. Like, it feels super smooth when you swatch it. I feel like this was a really thought out, a well thought out kit. I'm super into it. And then this little nugget. Like, what are you going to do with this? Like, this is the only one where I'm kind of scratching my head like, okay, Sephora, really? That's what we're doing today? This is the the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in the shade 01 Always Red. And I feel like Sephora, whenever they do their little favorites kits, they do put this color in a lot of them. Y'all, I'm going to lose this before the week is over. And then I love these. I love these. These are the Marc Jacobs Lamarck Little Lipsticks. And I purchased a bunch of these last year. And then I ended up going ahead and buying a full, a bunch of full sizes. I actually already have this in a full size. Um, let me see if I can find my full size to swatch so I can maybe give this one away. Okay, so here is my full size one. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch it because that can be given away to somebody. And that is Kiss Kiss Bang Bang right there. I had I got this this particular little guy in a holiday kit last year. And I loved it so much I went out and bought a couple of full sizes. We are almost done. We have a couple more. This is actually a really good size too. This is the Too Faced Melted Latex. And it says that this is in the shade Hot Mess. I've heard very hit and miss things about... Okay, I can't, these feel super sticky when you try to swatch them. Very opaque, but I don't know if I would like the formulation of that. But it's a pretty color. I could see myself totally wearing that color. That's it right here. And you can see it's very high shine. So I love the fact that there's mattes, there's glosses, there's high, there's high shine, there's sheer. There's literally something for everybody in here. And then what do we have next? We have Urban Decay. I actually have the full size of this as well. This is the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick and it's going to be in the shade Big Bang. And this is the color here. So this one is going to have a little bit of a shimmer or glittery type finish. It's one of their metallicized finishes. And let me grab my full size. I'm pretty sure I have this in the full size. So this is like a purpley pink a lot of more like glitter type finish. It's not necessarily glitter, but that's kind of how I would describe it. Again, another high shine. And you can see it's almost like an iridescent-y, purpley, uh, purpley pink shift. It's a really pretty color. Okay, and I think we have one thing, two things left. This is the Touch and Soul Metal the Metallist. I know I'm saying that wrong, forgive me. Metallist Liquid Foil Lipstick Duo. And this is in the shade number five, Jasmine. Okay, so it has it described as liquid, which is this, and then the gloss. So we're going to go ahead and I think this is probably one of the only ones just by looking at that I would not wear. Okay, that's coming out a little bit runny. So I'm not loving that. And I would never wear this color. It's like a brown metallic, but it's also super sheer. Like you can see, I tried to apply several layers of it, but it just kept picking up on itself. So it's not... Let me try patting it down. Even patting it down is not working and it is settling into the fine lines on my hand. So I don't know about that one. I'm going to get the gloss next or maybe I'm supposed to do it the other way. Okay. You know what? I messed up. My bad, you guys. Let's try that again. Okay. So that was my error. So you actually lay this color down first, which is super pretty. I wouldn't wear it, but it's still really pretty. And then you go over top with that color that I kind of was like, this is gross. That kind of gets patted maybe on top to kind of intensify it a little bit and kind of change the color. So that's what they look like mixed. I mean, it's pretty. If you're into that type of lip color, it's pretty. I'm not sure about the formulation on that. I'm not super into like metallic -y type lips. But again, it's practically at this point, it's practically free. So we can't complain, right? And then the last thing that we get is one of the Hourglass Girl Lip Stylers. Girl Lip Stylos. And this is going to be in the shade Influencer. And another really pretty nude. Okay, so this is more of a peachy nude. And that's a color that I would wear the heck out of. The formulation on these felt really nice. I love a good chubby lip pencil. So that is everything swatched. That is everything broken down for price comparison. I wiped off the full size products. Um, but if you guys just want to kind of take a look at some of the other colors in here, I think that this is a banging kit. I think it's a good kit. I definitely think you should get your hands on it. It's going to sell out 
so fast. Stuff like this always sells out super fast. I always recommend that if you're into kits like this, do not wait for this Sephora VIB sale. It'll be long gone before the Sephora VIB sale. So buy it now if you can or buy it soon because the closer we get to November and December, a lot of these kits are going to start to sell out. So I'm into it. I definitely think it's worth the value. I think there's beautiful colors. I think there is a nude in here for everybody. I think there is a lip formulation in here for everybody. So it gets my stamp of approval. I'm into it. I definitely say get it, add it to your love list, add it to your Christmas list. And I think that you will really have a fun time with this. So I think that this kit is definitely worth the value. So that is pretty much it, you guys. I kind of just wanted to go over all of the products that were in here and let you know what I thought about all of the different colors, the price, all that good stuff. So thumbs up for me. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. We have a lot of holiday videos coming your way and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.